Hi, this is Topher with OS Training. In this series, we're going to take a look at how to create a multilingual website in WordPress. Thanks to Aclaro, who made this series possible. Aclaro provides top quality translation and localization services, adapting products and information to help you succeed in markets around the world. There are 15 video segments that cover topics from choosing multilingual ready themes and plugins, using WPML to manage your multilingual site, to getting it professionally translated and optimized for search. Let's take a quick look at why you'd want a multilingual website. More than 90% of the world's population don't speak English as their native language. In the increasingly global world, you need to translate your site to reach a wider audience and customer base. Translating a site is typically tied to a specific business requirement or strategy of reaching global customers. What language markets you should tap into first depends on your priorities and budget, but it is a good practice to check your web visitor analytics to see what type of traffic you may already be attracting and determine what markets already show potential. Other considerations may include if your firm is opening a global office and the website needs to support that, or if your company wants to expand on a successful international strategic partnership, for example. For the most part, we're going to focus on how to translate your site and its content for your global and foreign language speaking visitors. But first, we want to note, in the spirit of supporting your language preferences, that the WordPress application itself is translated and allows you to select your preferred language. Here's how to do it. Here in the administration area of WordPress, we're on the main settings page under general. And right here is a drop down list for site language. And you can choose from any of these languages. If we switch to French Canadian and then save changes, now the text of the administration area is in French Canadian. And then we can switch it back. This allows the site administrator to be comfortable with what's going on in WordPress using the language that they're most comfortable using. Now that we know how to set up WordPress comfortably for you, let's take a look at how to set up and manage a multilingual website. 